Hey. There it went. Hi, everybody. How are everybody doing today? It is really an exciting day for us. You know, we have the trailer here. I'm in the trailer right now. I won't show you the mess when we're when it's traveling. You know, it's all tucked up. It's really not a mess. It's pretty organized in here. But I am here today getting ready to go to Utah in a couple weeks. And we're really excited to talk to Crossbreed about a really awesome product uh, called a belly band. And if you haven't looked at these as an option for you, still carry, they really are kind of that um, when a holster doesn't, when a holster on your pants doesn't work and your handbag doesn't work, like how do you carry in a, a um, Crossbreed belly band is really go and so i'm excited krista how are you doing today i'm doing great you know it's i'm excited that you're at the trailer because people can actually see it without being there i know you can't show the floor but we see the safety rules behind you <laughs> most important right? right right well let's get to it so we've got stacy bright she's hanging out there in the middle she's the one with the crossbreed shirt on right <laughs> that's it <laughs> She's joining us tonight from Crossbreed live and in person. And we're really going to talk specifically about the belly band tonight. Now, so if other questions come up, we'll ask them. But we hope to have Stacy on in the future to talk more about some of their other holster products. So, Stacy, why don't you quickly just share a little bit about yourself and your role at Crossbreed? Sure. Um, so, I've been officially with Crossbreed for a couple of years now. I'm an NRA instructor. Um, obviously, you know a little bit about me if you've um, known me at all, but um, I came on with Crossbreed a couple years ago, so I get to answer questions that people have about holsters. And, you know, for me, it's a really neat experience because especially right now, we've got a lot of new gun owners coming in as well. So, you know, the questions that they may have about firearms, I can help answer as part of that. Um, for Crossbreed, I've known the owner, Carol, for probably six or seven years and her family. I've carried a holster. I've got one that I got from her originally that I still carry today. And so um, that is my, uh, Crossbreed's been my go-to holster prior to ever um, actually being an employee here. Oh, that's awesome. So we <laughs> often at the trailer that the journey to choose your firearm is a, a significant one. I mean, it's hard to find that right fit. For and sure. if you find that firearm, your next big step is your holster. Right. Uh, we right. display the belly bands right there at the trailer and have gotten so much engagement because they see them sitting there. They kind of want to know how they work and what the concepts are behind them. So we're excited that you're going to share that with us tonight. I actually brought mine with me. And um, so I can always practice putting it on while you're there talking as well as putting yours on. Sure. So why don't you first start with, I noticed that it, when you look for the crossbreed belly band process on your website, it takes you instantly. You have to find it under a modular section. Right. Why don't we just start there and talk about why, how the modular system works? Yeah, the modular system just means that it's a Velcro. Uh, so if any of our modular holsters have the hook part of the Velcro that will attach to any soft loop Velcro. Um, so with the modular systems, we've got several different products that go into that. You can take one holster and apply it to several different products, um, from the belly band to the bedside backup. We have uh, panels that will work in a backpack and um, that type of thing, and also a purse defender. So you can take that same holster and just apply it multiple ways. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to buy the entire package or the holster for each product. So it's um, pretty versatile that way. Right. So I want to just add, let's let's take it back even a step further. And since we're talking about belly bands today, why don't you some applications at why they would use a belly band and explain what a belly band actually is and then what they would use for like what with what attire would be best for a belly band? Sure. Like Krista was showing um, the belly band and I've got a couple I can demonstrate here in a minute. It is an elastic band with several different panels of the Velcro on it. Um, one of the main reasons why someone would want that is if they don't wear a type of pants with a belt. Um, so that can be yoga pants, that could be gym shorts, it can be anything that they don't want to necessarily wear a belt with. Um, it's going to be a good practical application because that belly band does not need anything other than itself to um, fasten to your body. Um, and it's also pretty versatile where you can wrap it around on your higher torso, you can wrap it around your belly, lower on your hips. 
and then once the holster is attached to it, you can move it around. So if you are used to an inside the waistband or an outside the waistband holster, and maybe you carry on the four o'clock position, you can actually move that holster, the belly band to that position or maybe appendix, whatever, so that the muscle memory is still there from where you would normally draw. Um, so it, it, again, it can be moved around, but yet it doesn't need the belt to hold the holster in place. Right, and your the holsters that come have the kydex that covers the uh, kydex that covers the trigger guard. Exactly. You would draw same, correct? Right. Let me just show you. Um, the holster itself is going to be like any of our other holsters, where it's a hybrid. The back is a leather, but on this one, on the back side of the leather, you've got the hook Velcro. But then the front part is molded specific to the firearm for proper retention. So this one is made just for the Glock 43. It's not gonna fit any of the other firearms, but that means that when you put the gun in place, it covers the trigger guard. It's gonna have good retention. It's gonna hold it in place. Um, and it is, again, made specifically for the firearm. Um, I will tell you that a lot of people, when they get these, they're kind of confused by the retention on it. Um, it's gonna be fairly loose. And this, I'm just using a blue gun for safety. But when you have it off body, you're going to have a lot more play or it'll feel looser. But once you put this on body, and I'll just kind of show you, when it curves to your body, just by moving the leather a little bit, you can see there's a little bit more retention there and it's going to be tighter. Not only that, but once you have it on body, on the belly band, and I'll, I'll demonstrate when you guys are ready, uh, but it has two layers of the band. So it's going to attach to it, and then the remaining strap comes across it, sandwiches it, between the layers of elastic. And again, then it presses into the holster. So you've got some pretty snug retention. Obviously, you know, if you're highly active, you're running, jogging, whatever that might be, you're playing sports, you know, that type of thing. You can actually use that belly band and it's gonna hold it in place. That's great. Why, why don't we go for that? Can you show us yep, how that sure. actually works? I think it's one of those things that once you see it, it's very, um, it's, it's understandable and awesome, but when you take it out of the package the first time, it might be a little confusing. Right. So the belly band itself um, would come in several different sizes. In order to get to the right size, you're going to want to measure your body area where you plan to wear it. And I say that because it doesn't mean it's necessarily your pant size or your waist size, uh, because if you're going to wear it higher up on your torso, that's the area that you want to measure. Um, your belly may be bigger or smaller than your hips, so that would be a place where you're going to want to measure. So with the band, um, the tag part where it says crossbreed holsters is going to go out. So you're facing that out. On one side um, of this, you have just the hook Velcro. That's your last attachment. So that's the last flap. So what I'm going to do is go from the opposite side where I have the hook Velcro. And I'll just pull my shirt up a little bit here. And I'm going to fasten this. And it's going to fit pretty snug. So I'm going to fasten it to the inside Velcro, okay? So if you guys can see, I've got uh, the flap here. From there, I'm gonna position my holster, my firearm, wherever I want. So generally, I wear, it, wear kind of an appendix here. So I'll position it kind of in the appendix location. Okay, so that's secured to one of the panels. And then this flap is gonna come back over the top, fastened to the opposite side. And so then you can see it's going to be, again, secure between two layers of band. At this point, you just pull your shirt over it. I don't know if you can tell on where I'm at on camera, um, but it, you, know, you can wear it concealed at that point. I can tuck my shirt in if I want to, leave it out, whatever that might be. And ladies, this is an amazing product also. If you've ever carried concealed and you use the restroom, you know how sometimes it can be difficult when you've got your firearm on your belt and you're having to slide it down carefully not to drop the holster or have your gun fall out. This You don't even have to worry about that, that type of issue. So that's another benefit of the belly band. That's great. I think your camera dropped a little, so we're only seeing you from the neck down. Well, so let me see let's if I can it. it. was perfect for the demonstration, like you planned. <laughs> My no. camera didn't know what I was doing. There you go. So we get we're still, I'm not seeing your head, but yeah, no. we, we can see your body, just not your head. So, there you <laughs> go. yeah, but uh, you mentioned, um, Stacy, you can you would measure based off of where you are going to wear. 
Yep, let me see if I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get this anywhere close. I don't know. Maybe. Yep, that's there. Is that better? That's yeah. good. I won't breathe. So, so go ahead. Go ahead. Measure in inches based off of where you plan on wearing it. And you just use that. Is it like a from inch to inch is small and from a certain inch to a certain inch is medium? Yep. When you go to the website on the band length or the band size, when you click on it, there's a drop down menu and it'll have a measurement between this and this will be a certain size. So go with that. Um, if for any reason you get the band and it's too, too tight, too big, um, you can always send it back and we'll exchange it. Great. So, so Stacy. Now you said you wanted to carry it in a different position. So you can literally take that band now and twist it to where it's most comfortable for you, or do you need to take it all the time? I can twist it so now I can wear it towards the back if I'm used to drawing from behind right. um, and that kind of thing. So, and again, that it also depends on your body style. Sometimes it's easier to conceal it higher up or lower down or just moving it slightly one way or the other. All of a sudden it decides, you know what, it's not printing at all. I don't see it. So you can adjust it that way as well. Great. Stacey, we've got a question um, from Joanne Propes. She would like to know, are there any retention screws that need to be adjusted on the Kydex? So there's no adjustment as far as the screws go on this. The Kydex is molded, like I mentioned, to the specific firearm. Um, for most of our holsters, that's the way it's designed. If you need more or less retention, it's basically built into the trigger guard area. So the indentation is either deeper or shallower, and you can adjust that yourself just by using a hairdryer or a heat gun. And we have a video instruction on our website how to adjust the retention on that as well. Well, that, that just answered a personal question for me. I had on another holster. There you go. For sharing that, I didn't realize. That. Yep. Guess that the heat gun or the hair dryer could help me and assist me in that process. There you go. <laughs> so, what about the individuals that want to carry an extra magazine or two? Is there an option for that with the belly band? There is. So, on the band itself, um, and it's hard to probably see here, but there is one pocket that's sewn in vertically. Okay, so you can carry an extra magazine just in the pocket itself. Or if you want an additional magazine, you can buy a carrier, which again attaches the same way. It's got this with the hook Velcro that can attach to one of the panels, just like the holster, and of course then be sandwiched just like the holster itself. Um, inside the band, it also has a horizontal pocket that has a Velcro closure that you can carry a smaller cell phone, maybe some a credit card, that type of thing, and it's secured in there with that Velcro. So, I mean, you really can go out, like I said, on a jog or whatever, have your concealed carry permit, your phone, your firearm, and be safe and ready to go. Great. So I found a little, here's a little pocket. Oops, the horizontal pocket. Oh, yep, there you go. Vertical pocket, and here's the horizontal pocket right here. So you can just slide your, your ID, your cell phone right in there. Key. Yep. There you go. Key, right? <laughs> so, um... Lastly, let's talk a little bit more about the the other, uh, just quickly, the other products that this modular piece can move from with from the belly band to some other items that crossbreed sells. Sure. Um, as I mentioned, if you carry in a purse, you we have a purse defender. It's an L-shaped panel. So it's kind of a, a Kydex and Velcro, the soft loop that the holster will attach to. It keeps the firearm upright in your purse. So when you draw that, it's easily accessible and it's upright. It's not down in the bottom or in a, a hidden compartment. Um, we have the pack mat, which is just a solid panel that can go in a backpack or some type of pack. And then I brought the bedside backup, which is a two piece. So it, it just comes in two pieces. It hooks together. And then this part will go between your box spring and your mattress. And then of course you've got the soft Velcro on this side. So again, you can take the holster right off of the belly band, or maybe you want to get an additional holster and then it attaches to that Velcro. So it's right there at your bedside, your mattress, um, easily accessible and um, still covered because you've got that holster, just like, I mean, the same thing, the trigger guard is covered and um, it's fixed there. That's what is so awesome about this, this modular is you don't actually have to take your firearm out to do a transition. Exactly. The modular off. And if you're that person that has a different firearm for every pair of shoes that you own, 
You don't have to buy a bunch of different belly bands. You just need to buy the modular pieces and you can kind of interact and interchange every day. Yeah, and that, you know that's the difference, I guess, between most of the belly bands that you're going to see and the and the reason why Crossbreed uh, kind of invented this one was because a lot of the belly bands that you find just have a soft pocket. Okay, so the firearm just fits inside maybe two layers of elastic, um, but it's kind of more of a universal one size fits most. But you don't have the hard Kydex protecting the trigger guard um, and also being able to interchange with other products. So. Um, we feel like this is it's the safest way you can actually carry. Right, and I love the index on it, and I love that the other flap comes across, and it just gives you that more confidence that 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 right. it's not fall or anything like that. And sometimes that flimsier plastic, that one that you were talking about, to me, it always feels like the gun's a little heavy. It might flip forward in a Kydex holster with the crossbreed belly band. It is a wonderful, like. <laughs> Awesome. And quit making fun of me and all my guns. Like, I want to talk about you. Not at all. <laughs> there might be a few people out there that have a different carry firearm depending on that's what, what I see. Who's they're wearing that day? Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, Stacy, thank you so much for sharing all this with us. It is really great information. We will run this again and put it on our YouTube channel because everybody is looking for options in how they carry, what's most comfortable. And, you know, it's it's just truth. You've got to really go through and try it and see what works best for you. And and if you come by the Shoot Like a Girl trailer, we have some belly bands there that they can try on and see how comfortable it is and see if that's the right fit for them. Uh, and then, of course, you go buy it at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's or they can get a crossbreed online and order it specifically for them. And we just really appreciate you so much. Um, it, it's been a and great. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I wanted to. I, I mentioned to Krista beforehand that um, just happened to be that the modular systems are all on sale this week, so we have them running 15% off automatically. So now's a good time if you're interested in any of those products. Um, and of course, customer service is here Monday through Friday to answer any questions. So just holler at us or grab one online. And we'll include the Crossbreed website. It's a it's a great. Um, Go spend some time there. Kind of learn a little bit about all their different holster systems and the history of crossbreed holsters. Great company, great people. We love having them on the road with us. Stacy, thank you so much. I can't believe we're over. We're like we're almost to 18 minutes. It happens so fast. And we try to keep these guys um, our lives at 15 minutes. We know we're all busy and, and that's just the way life goes. But thank you, Stacy, for joining us. We will definitely have you on again in the future to talk about some more of your other products there at Crossbreed. We've got okay. a lot of this to do. So remember, like, comment, and share. And we will do a drawing for next week. Well, we'll do a drawing for this live. It may not be next week. So next week, we're going to have a unique live concept. We may not have a Thursday night live. Don't plan on seeing us Thursday night. But plan on seeing us coming to you live multiple times throughout the week. Karen and I are going on a, a, an experience. Simmons. <laughs> What did they call it? A women's discovery adventure. Yes. Discovery week at Upper Canyon Outfitters. And we'll come to you throughout the week at different times doing different things. And that will be our live experience for next week. I do have a winner from our live last week. If you'll remember, um, Karen kind of put a test to us and, and we had Ben join us. We talked about getting unplugged and going to the outdoors. And she challenged that for those that commented uh, in the actual live, uh, that that person who said, we'll choose from people who said cat, right? If you came and commented cat, that was Ben's magic word. Right. But as Ben's word, he he wanted everyone to say cat. That means that they were paying attention to what he said. And um, that was our winner. And I just wrote their name down. I got to figure out what was Donna. She's got three names and she's on a piece of paper here. Karen, do you want to share anything else while I find where I wrote her name down? Now, I just want to tell everybody as we're coming to the end of June, which is Firearm Safety Month, really every day is Firearm Safety Day. And I just want to remind everybody to make sure that you're that you're safe with your firearms and that you've children around that you've properly secured them when they are not in use by you. And you guys um, really, all of us together will make a difference in promoting firearm safety across the, the United States, 
Uh, so if you haven't had a chance to talk to someone about firearm safety, do that today. Find a new gun owner, find a child, and just have a conversation about firearm safety. And um, that will make a difference that you might not see, but it will make a difference um, in the long term uh, for our our new firearms owners, our, our old firearms owners, just everybody that's around firearms. Um, let's make sure we remember our firearm safety rules that are right behind me. Yes, they are right there on the wall. Why don't you show them to us really quickly? Um, I can't really do this without, can, is it backwards or is it right ways for you guys? Wait. Huh? It's the right way. So okay. there, there you go. Yep. You the rest of the trailer all kind of always around. This is us in, in transport mode. Everything's locked up, secured. We're ready. It's pretty cool. It's very organized. And for those who know me, I'm really now virtually tub free, which is a, is a challenge. Although if I can buy a tub, I'm buying one. All right. Well, I have managed to misplace Donna's last name. She, I think it's, I think it's Powell Pedigo, but I will verify that and reach out to you and get your mailing address and we'll get your swag uh, package out to you. Remember we are traveling. So if we don't get your address before the end of the week, it may not mail for a couple of weeks. And we do have a couple that are still outstanding unless Karen did some mailing today, maybe one or two. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Thanks Stacy. Thank you. Thank so you. Yeah, I'll yeah. take. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.